Well, this package arrived in the mail the other day. It's a new art captain inverter welder. I believe it's an MG MIG 200, so 200 amps, presumably. We're going to open it up here. See, there's some damage here in this corner. It's packaged pretty nicely. Okay. I'll get all this stuff out of here and bring it back. Okay, so here's what was in the package. We got a stick welding lead, ground lead, MIG welding lead, Spare wire, I'm assuming wire feeder bearings, an extra tip and a wrench for the tip. There is also a, a cup, extra cup, and two more tips. And the gas hose, the adapter to run it on 110 or 220, and the unit itself. And the manual. I'm going to read through that and uh, let you know what I find out. Okay, here's what I'm gathering with the initial MIG setup. This is what they're calling a polarity reversing plug or something like that. So what they want you to do is plug it into here. And then put your ground into the negative. This one says negative on it. And then the, the main uh, lead goes into the Euro connector here, which is pretty substantial. And I mean, look at this. The screen on this thing. This is a quite a unit for the price point. I'll put a link in the description. These things are not that much money, and so far I'm impressed. I mean, this is a substantial piece of cable, and the ground is, you know, I mean, it's not a Miller, but you're not paying for it. Now, so we'll try it out here. I'll bring you back. I'm still looking at these parameters and. To set them up and yeah. Okay, so I'm no professional welder here. I got a an older welder without all these functions, but essentially when you put it in synergetic mode, your wire speed is matched to your voltage. So this is your fine adjustment for voltage, and this is your current adjustment depending on the thickness of your material. If you have synergetic mode turned off, this is your wire speed, that's your voltage, like a conventional welder. And this is your arc hardness or softness to adjust the inductance of the current. So anyway, I'm gonna try the synergetic mode. That's one big feature of this welder. It will automatically adjust your wire speed and, and gas flow to accommodate whatever you're trying to weld. So I, I'm going to test that out here in a second and I'll bring you back. Well, I've been playing around with it a little bit here and that synergetic mode works great. I mean, you just turn the heat up until it can penetrate and it matches the wire speed. Perfect. I got it at 111 amps. Um, a little bit here.
try something a little thicker here. And I'll mention that it has a wide range of adjustment below this. Um, you could weld some pretty thin metal with this thing. And it seems like the arc is real, real even. This thing has a lot of impressive amount of power. It's easy to burn through. So what I did, press mode button, changed it to MMA, which is stick. I got a 7018 type rod, and that's exactly what it is. 8018. This is 3 8 and it's a thick rod, so...
see that. I'm not claiming to be any welder here. Can't complain about that. It's got a good penetration. Nice smooth arc. Yeah, does a good job. What I'm going to do is flip it over. Uh, I think it's out of frame, but I'm going to have you watch the welder. I think it shows the voltage putting out maybe the current while I'm welding. So that'll be interesting to see. First one, so I'm going to... I mean, I, I'm a professional welder, and this thing, look at how smooth that is. I don't know, this is, this is actually my first time ever welding with an inverter welder, and I don't know if they're all like this, but at this point, I, you know, I am sold, for, especially for the price point. I'm not trying to make a sales video here, but I mean, this thing, what is it, four or five hundred bucks, and you can take, make, art effectively with 3 8 material. I'm running it on 220. Maybe in the future I'll run it on 110 to see if there's any difference, I imagine there is, but regardless, it's it's doing its job. So personally, I would not hesitate to buy this machine for what what they're getting for them. Um, Artcaptain.com. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested, and I'll be using it in future videos. I got some some welding to do on the old Dodge here yet here on the old. The old Dodge, I got all these floor pans in yet. Um, I want to put a receiver hitch on the back and some other stuff. So, one thing I wanted to mention it did not come with a gas regulator. I had to use my other one. It came with the hose, but if you want to use gas, you got to get a regulator or use flux plug. But I have far better results using gas. I'm always doing welding repair. In the summer, I get into excavation work. I'm breaking stuff all the time. So we'll be seeing more of this. Thanks for watching.